Hey everyone. So wow. Um So last night we lost Yosuke Nasuki. Now for those that don't know, no Yosuke Nasuki is in my opinion one of the most underrated characters of the whole Godzilla fandom, you know. He is the doctor that was able to defeat Godzilla in The Return of Godzilla or Godzilla 1985, you know. Now, I'm sorry, this is just this is just a little difficult for me because, you know, I I as much as I guys, let me just explain something. The Heisei era is my favorite era of all Godzilla movies. And basically, potentially spoiling when I actually give my list of my favorite Godzilla movies of all time. You know, it is this one right here. You know, it is, you know, basically, it says Godzilla 1984, The Return of Godzilla. But, you know, I, I put Godzilla, The Return of Godzilla and Godzilla 1985 in the same league. And I know that's controversial, but, you know... Those are my, that's, this is my favorite Godzilla movie of all time, you know, and, um, and one of the things that always irked me about the Heisei era is that basically Sensei Makoto Hayashida never got to be seen as the leader of G-Force or the lead scientist of G-Force and, you know, that always burns me. You know, and it always burns me that when I, whenever I hear people reviewing or talking about this particular movie and saying that it's not essential Godzilla watching, I personally get offended by that because it's not only the fact that it's my favorite movie. This, this was the movie that returned Godzilla back to his dark roots. This was the movie, like Godzilla ended up having like a kid friendly you know, image, you know, that veered away from the original movie. And this was the movie that brought it back. And top it off, this was the movie that brought back relevant themes that was happening around the world, you know. And at the heart of this movie was the character, you know, well, of course it was Godzilla, but it was also basically, you know, Professor Hayashida, you know. And Yosuke Nasuki really gave this role and this character such a breath of air with such gravitas and regal a regal um presence and I, my eyes were always glued to every every scene you know Nasuki was in I was glued to that character the most and it's actually you know it was it was actually Dr. Hayashida that gave me the line that I always equate Godzilla with to this day. It, it was the line like, Godzilla has purpose. Godzilla is a warning. A warning to all of us when mankind conflicts with nature, monsters are born. And I'm just trying to send them home. And that's the most important lesson that we should learn from God, about Godzilla all of the whole mythology and you know it's just Godzilla is a force of nature that should be respected and he'll appear whenever us humans actually feel that we can control nature that we're better than nature you know nature comes back to well nature will come back and bite us in a way that we could never anticipate and that is what this guy back here represents and for me it was I learned this from Yosuke I mean little oh boy Yosuke Nasuki um I'm sorry it's just I get a little emotional with this because this is my favorite movie and it's one of my favorite characters who I always feel is felt is so underrepresented you know but <sighs> that's all I could say right now but like you know Guys, if you when you watch the Return of Godzilla, Godzilla nineteen eighty five again, you know, really, really pay close attention to Yosuke Nasuki's performance, 
and pay close attention to, you know, Sensei Makoto Hayashida, you know, because he is, he is one of the most important parts and most one of the most underrepresented and most underappreciated characters of the whole mythology. And I hope people give him the respect and the honor that he deserves. So, Nasuki-sama, rest in peace.